welcome once again business crew to the financial crisis ahead series this is part 4.2 and in this podcast the focus will be mainly on business owners because i will be discussing business matters and how they will be affected by an economic and financial crisis now unfortunately a lot of the information i would be providing to you is going to be fairly negative whilst there will be a worsening business environment and there will be serious business issues remember that these business issues are going to be affecting pretty much all businesses that you are competing with and all businesses in and around Australia where the economic and financial crisis is affecting so really it's the people who deal with these issues best are going to be the ones that will be lasting out the financial and economic crisis because again like I said in a previous podcast I hate hearing end of the world it's not the end of the world it's an economic downturn end of the world means that's it it's finished whereas in this situation there is going to be a new beginning the economic crisis will hit and then eventually there will be an improvement in economic conditions over time so you obviously as a business owner you obviously want to last through these negative conditions and I am telling you that if you do last through them a lot of people are going to get crushed a lot of businesses will be crushed and a lot of businesses are going to exit the industry Uh, and that means that once economic conditions improve again you are going to find if you are one of the last men standing you are going to find that the economic environment and business environment in which you're in is going to be a lot better for you and you will see significant profits in this part of the podcast I'm going to just discuss business conditions and give you an overview of what you can expect if you haven't thought about these already and I I know that probably some of these you will not have thought about then hopefully you can use these to your advantage and hopefully you can just reflect and consider what I'm saying. Quite clearly the most obvious one is that in an economic and financial crisis people are going to be poorer, they will have less disposable income, they will be more price sensitive. No great discoveries here. But I will go further and say that there's going to be a lot of desperation out there as well. And this desperation is going to impact the business environment quite significantly. We are going to be seeing an increase in crime. Uh, crime such as insurance fraud businesses are going to well catch fire uh, for some random reason there are going to be expensive and luxurious cars disappearing now you might think well okay well so what how does that affect me it affects you because premiums are going to rise quite clearly because there's going to be higher payouts and there will be more scrutiny when it comes to making claims so if something does happen to your business or your vehicle i believe that that is going to impact in the way that payouts will occur as i said there will be more scrutiny um, it'll be diffi- more difficult to get a payout uh, there will be more investigations so that is going to be something that will not will not only affect business owners but will inf- affect uh, people in general but uh, business owners uh, certainly will be affected if you claim that there's a break in in your business or uh, well if it catches fire or something bad happens then just that could obviously be a problem for you now desperation also leads to crime there will be a lot of shoplifting again we know about that that's already happening it's it's part of business but there will be a significant increase in shoplifting that's obviously going to make things a lot worse for you it's going to increase your costs it's going to mean that you're going to have to allocate more resources towards combating uh, shoplifting the difference between an economic crisis and a prosperous economic condition is that in both cases you also will have shoplifting because shoplifting is just something that um, you know certain people do whether it's for fun or adrenaline or just because you know they're thieves but in an economic crisis there is going to be a lot more shoplifting but there's also going to be more theft there'll be more burglars be more break teenagers uh, maybe your drug addicts they will tend to shoplift doesn't matter what sort of economic conditions there are that's just the tendency that they have but certainly you're not going to find teenagers uh, actually going in and burglaring your shop whereas during an economic crisis well the desperation will cause people to do desperate things uh, you're going to see more petrol driveways where people will be filling up their car and and driving away you'll be hearing about that on the news that's not really going to affect businesses other than those which own petrol stations but that 
may cause an increase in petrol prices as petrol stations try to cover their cost of an increasing number of driveways. Because consumers are going to be more price sensitive because their disposable incomes will decrease, they'll be looking for a bargain. You will notice a lot more discounting, which is a real bummer because that is going to cause more competition for you. That's also going to perhaps force you to discount yourself if you actually want to compete. You will need to compete on price predominantly uh, unless you have a unique and special type of good. If you're offering something that's quite generic, that's available in a number of different outlets, you will be forced to compete on price and as people discount then that means that you will probably need to be discounting as well and that's going to cause a decrease in margins you can kind of see the picture now so you'll have rising costs on the one hand you know your insurance will be going up thefts will be going up shoplifting will be going up you may need to allocate more resources for security so you've got increases in costs there on the other hand you're going to be doing a lot of discounting so margins will decline in that respect so that's really going to uh, cause a lot of pressure uh, on your business operations so that's the reality later on in this podcast series i will be talking to you about different strategies you can implement so now what i'm effectively doing now as you can see i'm outlining the business environment but rather than saying look this is what the business environment is and as you can hear it's not going to be very good and say okay we'll see you later um, i will actually tell you how you can get around these things and how you can actually use the economic crisis to your advantage and believe me there are many many advantages to an economic crisis for business because economic crisis is going to wipe out a lot of your competitors it's also going to allow you to access a lot of the assets of failing businesses when businesses fail they will need to sell their assets so if you own a restaurant or perhaps some other retail outlet you are going to see restaurants going out of business they'll be selling off their plant and equipment cutlery and uh, all sorts of things and obviously you'll be able to come in and buy that up at a very very cheap price so there will be a lot of for sales during an economic crisis which you can then utilize for your business now rents is going to be interesting as well um, look hopefully you're not locked into a long-term rental contract uh, try to avoid that if you can because as businesses leave the industry you're going to have a growing number of vacant premises even now as I walk along the different streets and see how businesses are performing, I see an awful lot of for lease signs, including very touristy and pretty much all year round locations such as Fitzroy Street in St Kilda, Ackland Street in St Kilda, like you know, tourist precincts. So the retail uh, environment at the moment is bad and is going to continue to be bad. In fact, I would urge you to check out my podcast where I have a warning to business owners which is specifically for retailers so just listen to that that has got nothing to do with the financial crisis it's just discussing the general business environment so that's going to continue to worsen when there's an economic crisis which means there's going to be a hell of a lot of locations uh, available to you in fact there's going to be so much competition uh, between the landlord to try to get tenants in that you will be able to organize yourself a really good deal like perhaps even many months of free rent just to get uh, someone into the door landlords will be wanting to offer you all sorts of deals they'll be hungry for your business they will be wanting to fill up their vacant premises and they will do deals such as giving you discounted rent free rental period perhaps even throwing in some insurance so you certainly do not want to be locked in to a long-term rental contract now because you are going to have a lot of options available. I am telling you right now that whatever rent you are paying now, wherever you are located right now, when things become, well, even a little bit worse and as businesses exit, you are going to be able to get a much better location for exactly the same price and perhaps for even lower price with better conditions than you are now so that's obviously a a benefit uh, to you because the times are going to be uncertain and as i said you are going to be facing decreased margins and possibly higher costs at this stage the preparation should begin by saving creating a pool of funds don't make any significant investments and just save because you'll be needing to use your savings as a buffer to withstand and withhold as long as possible during an economic crisis. Now, 
obviously at this stage I'm speculating on what the environment is going to look like and, and although it is speculation uh, I think it's a pretty good uh, illustration of what it's going to be based on my experience and analysis of other countries and other economies where such things have happened um, but obviously I don't know how long uh, this economic and financial crisis will be I don't know exactly when it's going to strike I don't know um, you know the scale of things so you know there are certain unknowns that are occurring there is there is always going to be the wild cards perhaps the government will introduce uh, new taxes or, or or some other legislation which is going to affect businesses either positively or negatively you know these things are the wild cards which obviously we cannot predict at the moment but just to be safe because there are a lot of unknowns here like I said um, very important just to manage your business conservatively don't spend on things which you don't need to at the moment that you will do as economic conditions improve um, and just hold your cash in the next part of the podcast I will be talking to you about strategies where you will be able to shield yourself against these worsening conditions which I've described to you already. Now I am not going to provide examples or use illustrations of some of my clients which I have assisted because that's for me that's actually a bit of a no-go zone um, where I, I don't want to provide information which these clients have paid for and then just provide it for free but nevertheless um, I have been operating businesses since I was in my early 20s and my girlfriend who I'm partnering with her she's got a business overseas so I've implemented anti-economic crisis strategies for her I've implemented um, anti-economic crisis situations for myself including now and um, I am preparing myself now for what's coming I did so from 2007 in a, a previous business that I had so there is certainly going to be a lot of a um, lot of practical advice there including examples and I'm telling you that uh, an economic and financial crisis does not need to be negative and um, there will be certain negative aspects to it which will affect businesses negatively but there are also going to be positive aspects to it where an economic crisis will provide you opportunities which you would not have had uh, in the past. Just a matter of you just preparing yourself really. If you tag team with me and uh, require my assistance to do this, uh, I'm pretty confident that you'll be able to see your way through it as I did in 2008, um, as I believe my girlfriend will be doing in the in the near term future and as I'm positioning myself now, I think that I will be quite well prepared to weather the financial storm. So that's it, business group. Look, look please have a think about it, reflect on what I have said, just consider your situation, your environment and reflect back to what I have said, how that potentially may infect your business. Um, like I said, stick with me, 4.2.1 will be where I go into the details of some of the strategies that you can apply considering the circumstances that you will be facing.